Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Showy RF 1400 full-face helmet. The all-new Showy RF 1400 retails for $4.99 for a solid color and $5.99 for a graphic. Please understand we don't update videos for price changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. We're pretty excited about this. This is a brand new full-face model from Showy, and we don't see that every year, right? They keep their models in the line for extended periods of time because they invest a lot of R&D, a lot of engineering, right, into each one of these models. This is replacing the RF-1200, which is their best-selling helmet, okay? Areas where they look to improve over the RF-1200, ventilation, right? We're going to talk more in-depth about the features as we get a little deeper in the video, but basically we're looking for more ventilation, a little better aerodynamics, a little less drag, a little less lift, right? And a little bit quieter. Also, they've changed the shield. This now has a centrally located shield lock, which is something I really like. And a new pin lock design. Okay, this is a brand new shield they're using here. And if you look right here, there is your pin lock post. That is outside of your peripheral vision. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to open up the eye port a little bit to give the rider a more open field of vision. So those are the areas where they look to improve over the previous model. Who is this helmet right for? This helmet's going to be right for any rider looking for a premium full face helmet. This is going to work well on a sport bike, street or track, right? Great helmet for a rider who is looking to split time from street to track days, okay? Street only, no problem. You want to ride a cruiser and rock a, a, a quality full face helmet? This is also going to be a great option for you. Certification. This is Snell 2020 certified. It weighed 3.65 pounds in a size medium here on our digital shipping scale. Okay, let's talk sizing, head shape, and fit. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. We did a video earlier this year. Right now, I've got like 75 helmets that in the last decade plus, right, that I still own that I've ridden in each and every one of these. So I've got a, a wide sampling to help benchmark sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money, intermediate oval head shape. Per their size chart, I would be in a medium. I've worn this in the shop for an extended period of time. It is a size medium, and I get a good, comfortable fit. It really reminds me a lot of the RF-1200 and the X-14. There is one difference, okay? And that's going to be the on-off effort of this helmet. To make it quieter, what Showy has done is they've added some material here in the lower portion of the cheek pad, okay? It makes the helmet quieter because it seals up better around the base of the jaw and your neck, but it also makes it a little more difficult to put on and take off. In the end, it's a very small trade-off for what can be a pretty substantial improvement for most riders, just so you're aware of that. Glasses compatibility. If you're an eyeglass wearer or if you like to use a clear shield with sunglasses under it, we have tested that out for you with a pair of glasses. This is an area where I believe they improved over the 1200. I think the 1200, I couldn't get the glasses to sit very well on my nose. And as I'm talking now, Caleb's going to show you some B-roll. This one, the channel seems to line up better. They slide in pretty easily and rest in a good, positive spot. All right, let's break down the features and the benefits. Ventilation, that's probably one of the number one features for any rider out there. And this is an area where they look to improve this over its predecessor. Okay, we now have six intake vents. You've got a, a vent up here in the brow, two up here in the crown. These switches each have two detents. And then you have down here in the chin bar, the intake vent down here, and you'll see that also has two detents. Your exhaust venting is going to be managed through the diffuser here on the back of the helmet. I have not ridden this. It is December here in Michigan, okay, plus I don't have a street bike right now. I do have our showy rep, Rick, who I've known for like 15 years, right? And he's ridden in basically all of the showy models. They kind of use him for a, for a test rider. And Rick and I talked quite a bit about the performance of this helmet. And he said, without question, he noted a ventilation improvement over his 1200, right? He was able to benchmark them back to back. He noticed 
you know, the aerodynamics part is hard. You know, you're talking like single digit percentage improvement in lift and drag. To go out and note that, you know, yourself on the bike, that's going to be a little bit difficult. He said the aerodynamics felt really good. But he also said it was certainly notably quieter than the 1200. So they looked to improve in those areas and they were able to accomplish that. Let's talk exterior shell size. This is my X14. Okay, this is the helmet that I've been riding in on the track this year. These are both size medium, they both fit me. And I just want to give you just an idea. This, to me, definitely looks a little narrow. The, the helmets are designed, you know, they're completely different helmets, right? But just to give you an idea of its actual exterior footprint, I would say the 1400 looks a little smaller than that X14 does for me. There's a total of four exterior shell sizes. As with all the showy product, right, you're able to custom tune the interior fit. If you need to replace cheek pads or top pads, we'll have all that stuff lined out on the website. You can really dial in the fit and personalize it to any degree that you need to. Double D-ring retention system. This helmet's gonna ship with the pin lock insert, a breath deflector, a chin curtain, right? These don't come installed. You choose to use any of those, you're gonna have to install them yourself. We already talked previously about how this is a 10% bigger pin lock insert, and that's just to improve your overall field of vision. The shield on this helmet is also a pretty significant upgrade. They've taken some of the things from the X14, some of the aerodynamic pieces from the X14 shield, and they brought them, right, these vortex generators brought them over to the shield that we now find on our 1400. And like I said, for me, one of the things I really like to see, and you know, if I was a betting man, I would say we'll probably see the shield on whatever helmet in the future. And I don't, there's, this is not happening right away. This is going to be some time because that's a great helmet. That's still the benchmark without doubt. You know, when we see the X14 replaced, we'll probably see this shield carried over because this centrally located lock is just a really nice feature. I think it's much more effective than the side locks, right? We're talking small moves again, but it is just a, a slight improvement there for sure. Uh, fully removable, washable, replaceable interior. These are quick release cheek pads. Let's say that you've had an accident. If emergency, emergency personnel are familiar with this or can read, they can grab these right here and just rip the cheek pads right out. And that makes the helmet a lot easier to get off the rider if they happen to be down. Bluetooth compatibility. They didn't develop a unit just for this helmet. Kind of would have liked to have seen that feature, but I think I understand why. I mean, this is still more of a sport helmet, okay, than it is a touring helmet. For that reason, they probably didn't come up with a proprietary system. With that said, this helmet does still have, and we'll show you this in the second part of the video, this helmet does still have the pockets molded into the EPS so you can install a universal Bluetooth device. Okay, before we tear this thing apart and give you a close look from the inside out, you know, what do I think of the helmet? I've not ridden in it. I will get one of these and ride in the thing in the springtime. You know, Max saw the helmet. He's pretty excited about it too. So he's like, yeah, man, I want to get one of these and take it on the track and check it out too. So we will do a follow-up to this, right, to be fair. This is a showy, right? Showy's really not known for making mistakes. This is an evolution of a previous platform. All I did was simply make it better. Right, I love the fit, finish, and quality. If you've watched any of my helmet reviews in the past, I've always said when it comes to that, that fit, finish, and final quality, that final assembly, Showy always wins. Are there other great helmets? Absolutely, there's other great helmets out there, no doubt. We're talking small moves here, but when it comes to those fine details, Showy's simply the best. So my expectations are when I ride on this thing, I'm really going to like it. Shield swap. Push in here, right, and that little tab pushes in, release the lock, lift it all the way into the upward most position. The trigger right here, you kind of slide your thumb in or a finger and push forward, right, to release it, pull out and back. Like so. To reinstall the shield, You want to get it in that upward most position and this tab right here, okay, you want to slide it into the channel like so, get it in that upward most position and kind of just push forward a little bit and down at the same time. It's going to jump right in. Same thing over here. 
What I like to do before I take it out is cycle it up and down a couple of times just to make sure you've got everything in there a-okay. To be fair, these shield swaps can be a little tougher with a smoke shield, so if you decide to go with an optional shield, right, you can't see the pin as easy. Still, at the end of the day, this is a good quality shield ratchet system. This is also one of the spring-loaded ones that looks to, you know, bring it back and pull it against the gasket. That's another area where Shoei really does a good job. If you take a, a close look at this gasket here, there's some serious engineering there and some, some real quality. One thing we've always seen with Shoei helmets is the amount of spare parts that we sell, right? Like rep replacement liners and things for years to come after models have long been discontinued, right? And are probably well over the five-year, you know, the five-year rule, which we've touched on in other videos. We are still show selling Shoei helmet parts because these things just last and people keep them and they try to keep them fresh and continue riding in them. Removing the cheek pads, pretty simple. Go ahead and slide your fingers in between the backing of the cheek pad and the inner EPS. We have three snaps. Release each one of those. Grab your cheek pad like so. Give it a little tug here. A little tug there. Give you a close-up look at that. As with all the other showy products we've seen, the quality there is just phenomenal. Of course, we have a mirror image on the other side. Out that comes to remove the top pad. We have two snaps here in the back. I like to get my fingers behind the liner, come up here and kind of lift up, right? I've got my index finger behind it, kind of lift up and pull back. There's your top pad. And you can see what they've done here. We have holes and channeling that's going to line up with all the ventilation in the helmet. We're going to show you that here in the EPS in a second. The chin strap covers are also removable. You got a little snap, right? You can snap those right off. This can all be washed, hand wash, mild detergent. Don't throw it in the dryer, just kind of let it line dry before you reinstall it. Speaker pockets are covered, right? We have these foam and plastic pads here, right? This is done for noise dampening if you're not using that speaker pocket. Can you get that, Caleb? Can you see that? So you have a good pocket that is clearly formed in there, makes the install very easy. Now you look inside at the EPS. Can you see all the holes? There is a tremendous amount of ventilation built into this helmet. It all lines up with the holes that you see here in the top pad. And in the layers of EPS here, there will be channeling in there that allows this to move from front to back. So. Tons of engineering, and even like when we talk quality. When I take this helmet apart and I compare it to others I've taken apart, and over the years, if you watch what we've done, I've taken apart a lot of helmets, right? Probably more than most other people have. This is another area where you can really tell showy is just that, that tiny little cut above, man. Even with the, the finish on the inside of the EPS. Why do they paint that stuff black? If you happen to have a fall in the helmet, I think we showed this early in the year. Max had his, we went out the first ride of the year last year. A kid had a brand new suit and a brand new X14. And it was the last lap of the first day. And he wanted me to take a video of him. The kid, long story short, took a pretty nice tumble, right? Never really made serious contact with his head to the ground, right? There was a, just a little scuff on the, the wing on the back of the helmet, okay? So what I did is I took the helmet off the kid, kid was okay, took it off, pulled the interior out, right? And you inspect this and what you look for is like, you know, spider checking, you know, inside of this. If you don't have any big marks on the outside of the helmet, you still want to look on the inside. And that's part of the reason why this EPS is, is painted because the EPS, the foam itself is white. You compress it, you're going to see the white behind it. And that's an indicator that the helmet has managed some type of an impact. And then from there, you know, odds are you probably shouldn't use it if you notice any damage. What do I think? It's a showy. I love it. What's not to love, right? They make arguably the best motorcycle helmet in the world, right? There's a couple of brands up there. They could all make that exact same claim. People that buy and ride in showies typically love their showy, right? We see a lot of customer satisfaction here. I'm a satisfied customer myself. So is the kid. If you have any questions, 
right? Leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right helmet for your next ride.